Hey, today I just want to do a quick update and correct some information in a previous video that I published. A couple weeks ago, I did a full tour and review here on my Jayco Pinnacle, the 37MDQS, and it was really a kickoff to a series that I plan to do for folks that are interested in the Pinnacle or the 37MDQS or even mid-bunk models. And in that video, I talked, I think it was twice, about how much I liked the triple propane tanks. Now, Jacob gives you three 40 pound propane tanks here if you option with the generator prep or the generator, which is a game changer, right? You have 120 pounds of propane. I love that feature. But I talked about how the third propane tank is actually plumbed separately and exclusively for the generator. So I was using my generator just yesterday and I knew my third propane tank was almost empty. And so I was letting the generator run to run that tank down all the way so I could get it filled up. And the tank finally ran out, but the generator kept on running. And I said, wait a second, something's not right here. So I walked over to the driver's side here and noticed that my first and second tanks, one of them I had left open. And so it was supplying propane. So I shut that tank off and then the generator stopped. So right away I knew, okay, there's no way that third tank is exclusively plumbed to the generator. All three have to be connected. So I did a little bit of tracing and discovered, sure enough, there's a T kind of hidden in the back here and it connects into the other propane line. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so follow me over here to the passenger side and let's take a look at this third propane tank. And I've got a bright light in here to help us see everything. But like any propane tank, you've got the line coming out, the gas line going straight into the regulator back there. And then you'll notice at the bottom of the regulator, there's a gas line coming out. And I just assumed that that gas line ran straight to the generator. And thus this third tank was exclusive to the generator. At least that's what the tech told me during orientation. But take a closer look back here and you'll notice there's actually a T coming out of the regulator. And so there's actually another gas line there that comes out and I never really noticed that until yesterday when I took a closer look when the generator kept on running. So if we follow those two gas lines on the passenger side here coming down below the I-beam, you can see there's clearly two gas lines coming out of this compartment. And the one here goes directly to the generator. You can see that one right there. But then check out this other line here, it goes all the way across and you can see it just follows the front right there, the front storage compartment, and then it marries into a T that feeds the rest of the propane system. So now we're on the driver's side and here's a close up of that T. And so this line over here goes all the way to that third propane tank. And then this T over here, this side goes to the appliances like the stove and the water heater and such. And then this side goes up to the dual first and second propane tanks. So the implications are if you've got one of these first or second tanks on, in other words, you've got the valve turned on here at the top, that propane is going to be running through this regulator and then down this gas line, which connects directly to that T. And then running from the opposite side of that T is this third propane tank connected to this second regulator. And so they're actually all connected together. And I think this is good news, at least for me personally, I would rather have all three tanks plumbed together and that way you can choose which of the three that you want to feed from, whether you're using your generator, your stove, you know, your hot water heater and so forth. So I'm really sorry for the misinformation in my other video, but I did want to set the record straight and let you know that I discovered all three tanks are indeed plumbed together. Well, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I am doing a series here on my Jayco Pinnacle, the 37 MDQS. So if you're at all interested in the Pinnacle lineup or even just mid-bunk floor plans in general, then definitely hit that subscribe button because I really want to make this series helpful to the community and get a lot of information out there and answer a lot of questions. Well, as always, thanks for watching.